Hello and welcome to the first game of the finals here between Cameron University and Rogers State University in the OACE Winter Esports Games. So after winning those best out of three rounds against Northeastern, Cameron ended up advancing here to the finals and it looks like Cameron's gonna be running Vladimir, Lilia, Yon, Ezreal, and Nautilus against Rogers State own Ergot, Olaf, Galio, Caitlin, and Lux. Looks like this time Cameron will be starting bottom left and Roger State will be starting top right. Both teams already speedily coming out to that battlefield. I mean, Roger State just running into jungle. Looks like Roger State does catch Yon and it looks like he's alone right now. Don't really know where his teammates are. But it looks like they're just going to leave him alone. He's already way too far in the jungle. I don't really think they want to initiate a fight that quickly there. Ezreal and Nautilus just waiting in jungle. So is Olaf, Caitlyn, and Lux there. Top right for Roger State. Minions finally have spawned. So we should be seeing some of these champions slowly make their way out onto those lanes. Both teams just waiting for any type of enemies to walk by, but it looks like they won't be finding each other. Yon and Galio, though, already mid lane there, kind of trading a few blows back and forth. I mean, it looks like for now, all teams are gonna just be kind of working on getting some of those minions down to gain some space onto the enemy team. Nautilus and Ezreal, hopefully we can see some big plays from them. I mean, they've been a dynamic duo throughout these last games against Northeastern State, so hopefully they can bring back that power against Rogers State University. Looks like, unfortunately, though, Vladimir's kind of having a hard time getting any ground onto Urgot. Urgot just, you know, putting in some massive damage onto Vladimir already, forcing him to kind of go all the way back to that turret top. It looks like the same here with Bottom, with Lux and Caitlyn just pushing Ezreal and Nautilus all the way back to their turret. Unfortunately, it looks like Cameron really can't find this early space they've been looking for, just like they did in those last games. <laughs> Invading space here is extremely critical. Nice airborne there onto Yon as well. They both get some damage off onto each other, but it looks like neither of them are going to go down. Both teams still looking for that first blood, and honestly, it could still be in both of their favors. Looks like Caitlyn will find that route, unfortunately, onto that Nautilus. Nautilus will have to back up behind his Ezreal and that turret if he wants to make sure he doesn't become that first blood for Roger State. Caitlyn and Lux right now forced to be reckoned with. Cameron University is going to have to be extremely careful when they push up here bottom. Same here, it looks like with Urgot, just taking all that space away from Vladimir, unfortunately. Looks like Yon's also going to be pressured back here by Galio, joined by Olaf, forcing Yon all the way back to that first turret mid lane. Looks like Nautilus does see that Lux is in that jungle, making sure that they don't push up way too far because they definitely do not want to become first blood there by walking way too far up into a bottom lane to that first turret in the enemy team. That can be extremely dangerous and we've definitely seen it in some games before. You really have to watch that jungle because at any moment somebody could just, you know, spring out on you and you're dead. Looks like Vladimir is finally getting some of that space he was looking for onto Urgot.
Vladimir is definitely looking for some hits, but so is Urgot. He's making sure to play extremely passively. He doesn't want to be taking any unnecessary damage there from Vladimir. Looks like Galio though, going in for Yone as well. Yone doing his best to fight back. It looks like he's going to TP out slightly there. Looks like Olaf there on the enemy team will buy that Iron Spike Whip and the Oracle Lens. Urgot was telling his team there that Vladimir did teleport to maybe give him some help there top lane. But it looks like his teammates won't be coming there. Uh, Yon's still fighting Galio. Both of them are around half health. So Yon doesn't want to be extremely aggressive anymore. He's going to be hiding behind that turret. Getting some of that health pull back as he waits for some of his minions to come back before pushing up to fight that Urgot. Looks like Urgot again pushing up into Vladimir. Vladimir really can't fight back there. None of his minions are there, so he's just gonna have to wait for them to come back before he decides to go up and push up a bit more onto that Urgot. Looks like Ezreal there, bottom lane, is confused to where the enemies are. Nautilus and looks like Ezreal will be pointing out that they are going for that dragon there into jungle. And it looks like Roger State University will get that off. But hopefully Tamron University now knows kind of the position and where they're at. And hopefully it will give them some time to counterattack them or honestly get a team fight going here. I mean, still six minutes in and we haven't even seen first blood. Both teams are just playing extremely passively. I mean, they could have definitely, you know, gone on to fight them. Roger State University there at that dragon. I mean, that was a nice call out by Nautilus and Ezreal. And they've been looking at it for quite a long time. But it looks like they really just didn't want to engage. Urgot, though, trying to kill Vladimir, though. But Vladimir will get that first blood. Um, just he got way too cocky there unfortunately going on over there to vladimir's turret and just that turret damage was too much for urgot and even though he felt pretty good about that kill it looks like it will go into vladimir's favor cameron university will get that first kill onto roger state when it comes down to gold pools as well it looks like they're about even right now about 10.9k about 11k Surprised to see that there haven't been more kills though. I mean, both teams have just been kind of playing passively and away from each other. Looks like Ezreal and Nautilus have been doing their best to kind of initiate some team fights, but they really didn't want to engage in that 2v4 there in jungle earlier. I mean, we haven't even seen any jungle fights either. Olaf and Lilia honestly just keeping their <laughs> like their space from each other, their social distancing. I mean, they haven't even seen each other once here. Which is honestly quite surprising. Uh, we haven't really seen anyone come out of jungle yet to help either team as well. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I couldn't really tell you. Looks like Yone will be going on for a kill onto that Galio. He does get a nice airborne, but Galio will taunt him off. And it looks like another nice airborne there from Yone, and Yone is going in to finish that kill. Another nice airborne, I mean, what was that, three times in a row? Nice CC onto that Gaul Yone, it looks like he will be taking that kill as well. Um, now Cameron University in the lead, 2-0. to zero. Cameron doing a great job of playing the long game, but making sure to apply enough pressure to get these kills. I mean, Roger State University is definitely pushing them back to these turrets, but Cameron University is still the ones getting those kills at the end of the day. And honestly, that's all that matters in the long run. Looks like Nautilus, Ezreal, and Lilia will be pushing up on him. We finally see some action here by getting some help from Lilia in jungle. A nice sleep there. It looks like they will be taking out Lux and Caitlyn. Lux will unfortunately trade that kill though for Lilia, but that's okay. Cameron University still in the lead with Roger State University getting their first kill. Hopefully we see some more of that jungle action with Lilia coming out to help bottom lane. Because, I mean, if it's, if it's anything from those last games, it's been working really well. Looks like Yon and Vlad though will find Galio here in jungle as well. And it looks like he will get that kill off, unfortunately. Looks like Cameron University, though, will get some damage off that bottom turret. 
Galio and Olaf now also pushing mid lane. Lilia coming out of jungle to do her best to kind of push him away as much as possible there. It looks like Urgot will find out Vladimir as well and get a nice channel off of him. Vladimir is doing his best right now and it looks like he will end up killing Urgot. Vladimir doing a great job at killing Urgot top lane and gaining back that ground that Urgot has been taking from him. 5-2 now on the leaderboard for Cameron University. However, it looks like bottom lane will suffer some damage here as Nautilus is alone to kind of defend that bottom turret from Lux and Galen. Caitlyn's high damage with the help of Lux is going to kind of leave Nautilus at a standstill. There's really not much he can do. Looks like Ezreal's back, so this should give him a chance to kind of push up a bit further now. Nautilus is doing his best to gain some ground, but he can't push up too far in the fear of Caitlyn and Lux kind of just jumping on him right now. It's kind of hard when you're going against two sort of long range characters bottom lane, especially when you're playing Nautilus. Looks like Galia will come back to take that ground away from Yone. And it looks like Urgot as well, finally getting some damage onto that Vladimir. Vladimir kind of looking for any type of damage he could get in. He's definitely looking for that kill onto Urgot. And he is low, and it looks like, again, Vladimir is going to get another kill onto Urgot. Vladimir definitely getting most of these kills so far onto that Urgot. Looks like Olaf's going to be stuck here in between that turret from Cameron University and four of their teammates. He's doing his best to get some kills in, and it looks like he will get a trade-off, but Lilia will finish him off there. Looks like Roger State University again, getting those dragons, something that Cameron University hasn't done. I mean, they need to start stepping it up and getting into that jungle. But I mean, if we think about it in the long run, even with these dragon kills, Cameron University still doing like a better job at getting kills where it matters. Looks like Vladimir though might get caught out there from Urgot. He was trying to get some damage onto that top turret, but it looks like he'll be okay. And with that damage onto Urgot, he will have to flee there. Vladimir looking to finish that kill, but I mean, that turret damage is just absolutely deadly, so he's gonna have to be careful it doesn't die. Well, he saw Lilia there and decided to go for it, but it looks like he's probably still gonna die for those turrets or get really close. He makes it out. That was extremely close, but a nice, another nice kill from Vladimir onto that Urgot. Right now, Cameron University showing some great teamwork. Yon again going for a nice stun and airborne onto that Galio. Looks like Olaf though catching Vladimir out and it looks like unfortunately he's finally gonna get shut down. Kinda stuck between that turret and Olaf. Looks like turret planning's gonna fall soon so hopefully we see some more turrets going down. Camera in the lead still, still in the lead though with double the amount of kills that Rotter State has at 8 to 4. Gold production too, not too far away, 22.5k with Roger State, you know, pretty close by, 21.9k. Looks like Nautilus though, finally getting some help here from Ezreal again. Looks like they're gonna push up onto that Caitlyn and Lux, getting a nice root and airborne. Unfortunately, Lux will use her ult there on Ezreal, leaving Nautilus to fend for himself. I mean, one thing he can do here is try and go for that Caitlyn, and it looks like he's gonna walk right into that turret. With the help of Yone here, they should easily get that double kill onto Lux as well. Lux, one health. A nice root there, though. She is doing her best to fight back, but it looks like Yone will get that finishing kill. Nice trade-off there, honestly. I mean, Lux did, your, did use her ult on Ezreal. Nothing much he could do there. But they still ended up getting that trade-off and getting both of them bottom lane, Lux and Caitlyn. Looks like, however, though, Roger State University will be finding that first turret onto Cameron mid lane.
Looks like, unfortunately, Yon wasn't there at the time. He was bottom trying to help out. Galio did a really great job for Roger State University to push up. I mean, he saw that opportunity. Looks like Yon, though, will do his best here to get some damage onto him. But with Yon at one health, he will disengage. He does have the help of his Ezreal there, but I don't think his Ezreal wanted to fight back either. Looks like Urgot hiding in the shadows, waiting to pounce, but Vladimir knew what was coming, and he's making sure to play extremely passively. Vladimir's gonna have to be extremely careful. I mean, he's going in for it. I think Vladimir thinks this is a 1v1, but it looks like Lux will be coming in for that help as well. Vladimir is doing his best now to disengage. He really doesn't want to be getting close to that jungle area because he knows what's waiting for him there. Looks like Cameron will finally be meeting the Roger State University here when they're fighting that Baron Nashor. Looks like they might get that first kill on the Urgot, but unfortunately, he trades at one health for that Lilia, and Lux will kill Vladimir as well. Very unfortunate there. Looked like Cameron University would have a chance, but it looks like that fight will go into Roger State University's favor. Looks like another turret, though, will go down, and it, this time it will be for Cameron University bottom lane. Looks like Yondo having a hard time fighting back mid lane, and it looks like he will go down there. Caitlyn getting that finishing kill off. Unfortunately, left alone with no turret and really nothing to defend himself. Looks like Roger State will also summon that Rift Herald and be getting some more turret damage. Looks like they will take out two more turrets. Olaf taking one and Caitlyn taking one. Now putting them in the lead for turret kills, three to one. Kills though, still behind 8 to 10, but it looks like even though Cameron University is focusing on those kills, they really can't find that pressure they need to get those turrets where it matters. Looks like Nautilus and Lilia will get found out here again by Roger State. I mean, it is a 4v2 though, so they need to be careful. Some nice roots coming out though. It looks like they did try to finish their Lux off, but she will go back behind her team, and it looks like Lilia will still find that kill onto that Lux though. She didn't want her to hide there, and she still found her. Looks like Lilia will be going for the double kill as well onto that Caitlyn. Lilia honestly doing an amazing job in jungle as well. Looks like Cameron University will come into the lead in this fight, losing zero and taking two of Roger State. Hopefully, with these kills, they can finally, you know, apply that pressure they were looking for and get some of those turret kills down so they could start advancing sort of into Roger State University spawn. Looks like first they will be going for that dragon, which is a smart move, definitely something they need. Roger State are going to be slowly coming back from spawn. They should still leave Cameron University just enough time to get some more damage onto those turrets. Urgot again lying in wait for Vladimir to come up. Vladimir doing his best to kind of disengage out of the fight. Now that that one turret is there, Urgot might have an easier time getting this kill off. He is doing his best to fight back, but it looks like Urgot will unfortunately get that finishing kill off of Vladimir. That's why having those turrets are so important. Lilia coming in though to finish that kill off. Urgot is low. Looks like he will get that stun onto Lilia though. Lilia escaping though with one health. Looks like Ezreal and Nautilus, though, will find that Galio. With, unfortunately, minions taking out another one of Cameron University's turrets. Honestly, not a good sign, because it's going to make it even harder to get these kills, since they won't have any of that turret damage to help them. It looks like they will find Galio out, though, putting them ahead 14 to 9. But it looks like all uh, Olaf, Caitlyn, and Lux will be focusing on these turrets, and even though they are finding these picks, I mean, the rest of the enemy team is just going for those turrets to make sure that when they actually start going for these team fights, that Cameron University won't have anything to hide behind. And that's honestly extremely dangerous. And we do see Cameron here going for another turret in top. Really great job, but they just need to be more aggressive onto those turrets. 
honestly, I feel like Roger State University is just lying in wait. I mean, when it gets close to that end game and they have more turrets up, that's really what's going to count. Roger State University already taken down five of Cameron's with Cameron only taken down two of Roger State University's turrets. I mean, surprisingly though, 20 minutes into the game and I mean, those kills are kind of running low. 14 for Cameron University and only nine here for Roger State. Surprisingly though, a low amount of kills for Roger State, even with the amount of pressure they've been applying and how many turrets they've been taking out. And honestly, that can be really all that matters in endgame there. So it's kind of going to leave Cameron there at a standstill and it's going to make Roger State even more dangerous. They're going to have to be extremely careful initiating some of these team fights. Looks like Fionn will find Lux and Olaf there first with Vlad Vladimir at his side, and it looks like he will find that kill onto Lux as well, with Lilia finding the kill onto Caitlyn. Looks like Olaf and Galio, the only two left, Lilia putting a nice drowsy onto that Olaf. Both of them still looking to engage, and it looks like Olaf will find that kill onto Yon as well, looking for that double kill, unfortunately will find it onto that Vladimir, with Ezreal punishing him. Now Galio, the only one left with Nautilus, Lilia, and Ezreal hot on his trail, looks like he will be getting some help from Urgot, which could be extremely dangerous here to Lilia, who is quite low up front. Urgot is low, looks like Lilia will find that killing blow onto Urgot, with Galio, the only one left, he will find a trade there. And it looks like Ezreal will take Galio down. Cameron University still winning this fight, putting them ahead 19 to 12. They should be really using this time where Roger State University is respawning to go and kind of get some more of those turrets down. I mean, even though they're ahead by kills, Roger State is still ahead by turret kills. I mean, honestly, granting Roger State way more space than Cameron has. looks like both teams sort of at a stalemate now just waiting for each other to kind of start and initiate a fight looks like Roger State all coming together and it looks like Cameron University will find the Nautilus and Ezreal first Guillaume coming into that backup that dragon will be back both teams are honestly gonna fight for it here Looks like Roger State is doing a great job at backing up, kind of grouping up, giving Cameron University the time to kind of come in and get that dragon, but they need to watch out. Roger State's waiting to pounce on them, waiting to get that full team together, and it looks like that's exactly what they're going to do. Nice taunt there coming off, and it looks like Roger State's going to be finding the first kills on a Yone Lilia. And it looks like Olaf's going to be finding a kill, and Urgot as well onto Vladimir, leaving Roger State with that kill onto that dragon. Unfortunately, almost a complete team wipe there onto Cameron University for Roger State. The only one alive there is Ezreal. And it looks like they got that dragon. Now they're going onto Baron the Shore as well. With Roger State getting both of these down, this should give them quite a lot of momentum against Cameron University, especially with how many turrets they've taken down. So Cameron University is going to honestly have to come back with some vengeance. This can get extremely dangerous for them really fast. Looks like Roger State University are going to start slowly funneling back into that fight with both teams starting to set up again. Looks like most of Rotter State will be funneling through mid lane and sort of that right hand jungle, as well as Cameron. They're definitely looking for each other right now.
Marauder State getting quite some ground on a Cameron. I mean, with no turrets there to stop them, they're just going to be able to take it for free. The rest of Roger State making sure to pressure them all the way back almost into their spawn. Looks like Cameron's going to have to start setting up their mid lane for this next fight. Looks like Olaf will find Lily and Vladimir first with Caitlyn and Lux by his side. Looks like Urgot will be there as well. Luckily, they get out by a hair there and hide behind that last turret, their top lane. Looks like Lux will be going down first, though. Nice kill there from Nautilus and Yone. Looks like the rest of Roger State did decide to disband there. They didn't want to really want to lose any more than they had to. Ezreal and Nautilus will be going in for that Urgot, but with Caitlyn and Olaf not too far behind, they're going to have to be extremely careful. I mean, Ezreal is one shot, and it looks like Caitlyn will find that finish onto him. Nautilus and Lilia left to defend that last turret, which will be going down. They will be getting closer to Cameron University's spawn. Now all they really have to do is get these last few turrets in their spawn. Hopefully Cameron can fight back. Nautilus is doing his best to kind of gauge the situation right now and how far he can get up to kind of get some damage onto them. Looks like Roger State will leave. They know Cameron will respawn and they really don't want to be feeding here either. And this should give Cameron the chance to kind of come back. Looks like Roger State's slowly going to be coming back into that fight. Cameron really doesn't want to push up too far here. They do need to protect their spawn since Roger State was able to get so close. I mean, that's the unfortunate situation. When one person, one team gets so many turrets down, it becomes extremely deadly for the other team. And now they're kind of seeing the consequences. They don't really have anywhere to go. They really got, they, they have to stick close to those turrets that still exist. Looks like they will catch out Vladimir here. I mean, Yone and Ezreal doing his best to fight back. Looks like Yone will be coming in as well, but unfortunately, Caitlyn will be finding that kill on Vladimir as well. Lilia doing his best to help out their Nautilus there, but it looks like Nautilus will be going down as well as Lilia will be helping the Ezreal. And unfortunately, Urgot will be getting a double kill. Lilia, the last one left, doing her best to kind of retreat all the way back into jungle. She's going to have to hold back at least some of them at this bottom lane turret in spawn. Looks like Roger State's slowly going to be coming back into Cameron University's spawn, getting that second turret there and slowly going for their inhibitors. Lilia, the last one up right now, Vladimir about to respawn. I mean, there's not much she can do. She's doing her best to get some damage off, but she has to keep her distance if they want to have another team fight there. She doesn't want to be feeding, especially with these brutal timers. Looks like Roger State will be leaving, though. They know Cameron University is about to respawn, and they really don't want to take that risk. Lilia trying to go in onto that Lux. Lux being one shot. Looks like Lux will use her ult, but to no avail. Luckily, she does get out, though, with one health remaining. Sort of unfortunate there for Lilia that she couldn't confirm that kill. Looks like Roger State will be going in for that drag, and hopefully, they, they, I mean, they're definitely hoping here for one more push to get this win. Cameron University doing their best to fight back. I mean, Roger State is giving them quite a lot of time to kind of come back and gain back some space, so hopefully Cameron can kind of use that to their advantage. We see here Urgot top lane, unfortunately, getting another kill onto that Vladimir. Looks like he will find Yone and Ezreal. 
and they will pressure him back. Looks like Galio going in to finish that kill, getting an airborne, unfortunately, onto that Yone, and will take him down, though. Ezreal and Nautilus will get that shutdown, though, onto Urgot. Looks like Lilia will find Lux, Caitlyn, and Olaf first, unfortunately. They do stun her. She is doing her best to run away with the help of Nautilus and Ezreal. Hopefully, they can gain some ground and push Rogers State University a bit further away there from their spawn. 21 to 23, Rogers State University now in the lead with kills by two, also turrets by seven. Gold production, though, not too far behind Cameron University, 51.1k, with Roger State at 57.7. Looks like Roger State will also be going for Baron and Shore again. Cameron doing their best to kind of sit and spawn. I feel like they know what's coming. I mean, this could still be a winnable game, but they would have to make an absolutely brutal comeback. For now, all they can do is kind of stay close to spawn and only let Lilia kind of stay in jungle to get some damage off. Looks like, unfortunately, she will get caught out by Galia. Hopefully, she can escape there, but it looks like Olaf will get that kill onto that Baron Ashore. And that should leave Roger State University with that opening to push onto Cameron University once more. Cameron again, they know it's about to come. They're making sure to all walk back into spawn so they can group up and have an actual team fight. They want to make sure this team fight is as even as possible if they want to push out onto that spawn and gain some more ground onto Roger State. I mean, a team wipe could definitely put this game into Cameron University's favor. They're just gonna have to be extremely smart about it. Looks like Roger State did decide to flank though on top lane, leaving, I mean, right now Cameron, Us Cameron University and Roger State at a 4v4. Looks like Urgot will be going in for Nautilus first. They get that last blue inhibitor as well, so they're going to have to be extremely careful protecting that Nexus. Roger State University making sure to group up here as well, so Cameron has a harder time really applying any pressure. Looks like the last two do funnel back into that fight to make it an even 5v5, and unfortunately, it looks like Galio will find that first kill as well on the Nautilus, leaving it a 4v5. Looks like another airborne from Urgot. Kind of Vladimir as well will take him down. Olaf will find a kill as well on the Yone. The Galilia will trade that kill. Unfortunately, though, Caitlyn will get that kill onto Ezreal. They will find that kill onto Lux, but unfortunately, there's not much they can do here as they do get a complete team wipe with Caitlyn taking that last kill onto Lilia. And unfortunately, this game will go to Rogers State University. Next up is going to be round two of the OACE Winter Esports Games finals for League of Legends between Roger State University and Cameron. We will be taking a quick break, so grab something to eat and get something to drink, and we should be back here shortly. Hey guys, and welcome back to the second final between Cameron University and Roger State University and a best of three. We did lose that first game, but hopefully we can come back and win this next one and the one after that to win these finals. Looks like Cameron University will be running Lulu, Echo, Lucian, Annie, and Pantheon against Roger State own Garen, Hecarim, Syndra, Kesa, and Seraphine. Honestly, we've seen Cameron University make some comebacks before, so hopefully they can come back and take this one home for the win. Hopefully we see some early team fights coming out of both teams here, as both did switch up their comps quite a lot. Cameron switching to a very aggressive team comp. This should definitely help them get that pressure they were looking for, and hopefully it'll win them these last two games against Roger State University, who also completely switched up their team comp. 
Looks like Cameron University will start out top right this time with Roger State starting out bottom left. Both teams right now just setting up in jungle as they're waiting for those minions to spawn. Minions have spawned. Hopefully, though, today, Cameron University will be able to go for those turrets, something that they were looking for last game but couldn't really find, and that's what ended up sort of making them lose that game. I mean, they were ahead in kills, and they were doing a great job at applying pressure, but Roger State was just doing a great job at taking out those turrets. Hopefully, though, in Cameron University's favor, Roger State University gets a bit too cocky and overexcited here, hoping to win these finals and play a bit more passively or make a bit more mistakes here. That would definitely help them out. And that's something they also need to watch out for. I feel like when you have more pressure on you, you definitely do your best to play better. They've already won that first game, so I feel like they might be not trying too hard now, and maybe that'll go in Cameron's favor here. They need to make sure to still be on their toes, because Cameron could fight back and bite back at any second now. Looks like Lulu already starting to get some damage onto that Garen top lane. A really great pick. We've seen Lulu in a few other games before. She does a really great job at applying pressure in that top lane. And since Garen is sort of a melee close range damage dealer, Lulu should have an easier time gaining that ground onto him top lane. And it looks like she's already doing exactly just that. Pressuring Garen already back sort of close to that turret. Looks like Pantheon and Annie again being extremely aggressive. Lucian as well mid lane. Looks like Hectorin will come in to help center their middle, but they won't find that kill. Annie and Pantheon still pushing in bottom, gaining quite some ground there onto Roger State. Looks like Pantheon will take some damage though and have to back up a bit slightly there behind his Annie. Pantheon, even though half health still applying that pressure, doing a very great job at making sure that Kaisa and Seraphine can't get any more ground than they need to. Get a nice stun there as well onto that Kaisa. Annie right behind them. Pantheon is low. Unfortunately, it looks like Roger Stay will get that first blood. Kaisa will get that kill onto Pantheon. Annie doing her best to flee there. She is one health. Unfortunately, Kaisa will get that kill onto Annie as well. Hopefully those are the only kills that Roger State are going to get there on to Cameron. Hopefully Cameron can learn from that interaction and come back with some vengeance to win this game against Roger State. I mean, they're definitely going to have to try as hard as possible because this game is all for the money for Roger State University. Looks like Kaisa and Seraphine will be back in spawn for Roger State. This should give, you know, Cameron University some time bottom lane to push up and maybe get some space there onto that bottom lane, onto those minions, and maybe get some work done onto that turret. Looks like Lulu top lane as well will be pressuring that Garen still. Garen half health. He is doing his best to fight back. Looks like Hecarim will come in to help him out, but Lulu did get an airborne there as well, but nothing really happened. She does have that turret to still hide behind, something that's extremely important, and hopefully that's something that they can keep for this next game. I mean, Cameron University definitely learned from that last game. They know what Roger State is looking for, and now they know how to counter it. Lulu again getting some massive shots onto Garen. Garen extremely low. Lulu doing her best to finish him off. Looks like she will let him go. Lucian and Syndra as well. Still just getting some minion kills here in mid lane. Looks like Lucian will be getting some ground onto that Syndra mid lane again as well. As Pantheon and Annie are doing their best to kind of regain that space they lost bottom. Nice hit there from Cinder onto Lucian, but it looks like Lucian will fight back and get quite a lot of damage off onto that Cinder. <laughs> no. 
no kills yet from Family University. Hopefully we see, see some soon. Looks like Pantheon is going in for one. Nice channel later as well. He did jump onto that Seraphine, but it looks like Kaisa will be there to sort of stop him. Nice stun there as well, but it looks like they will have to back out. Looks like Echo does come in to help Lulu to get this kill onto this Garen. Garen doing his best to run away to get to that turret. Nice polymorph there from Lulu, and it looks like Cameron University are finally going to find that first kill they were looking for onto Garen. Looks like with Kaisa and Seraphine back in that jungle, it'll give Annie and Pantheon some time to push up. However, they don't want to get too aggressive here and get caught out like they have in that previous game. I mean, the kills are still very close. Two for Roger State and one for Cameron. If they can get a kill off on Seraphine or anybody here bottom lane, I mean, it could put them even. They just need to make sure they aren't playing way too aggressively. Looks like they've noticed that Kaisa and Seraphine will be coming back from that bottom lane there. Annie and Pantheon doing a great job at not overextending and letting Roger State getting any free kills. Looks like Lulu will be going on onto Garen now though, finding him in that jungle and getting some free hits off. Still going in some, for some free hits. Looks like Garen's really having a hard time getting any damage onto that Lulu. I mean, when you are fighting a Lulu, it can be extremely hard to get close, especially when most of your damage comes from close range melee. Looks like though, bottom lane, Pantheon and Annie will be getting some help from that Echo onto that Kaisa and Seraphine. Hopefully, with that help and that 3v2, they will be able to get some ground onto that bottom lane. And it looks like Echo will be initiating first onto that Seraphine to be a huge turn off. Pantheon doing his best to fight against that Kaisa with Annie hot on his trail, helping out. Looks like, unfortunately, they will be trading. Seraphine, the last one left, and it looks like they will be taking down Kaisa and Seraphine. Nice help there from Echo coming in from jungle to help out Annie and Pantheon. And luckily now they'll be able to get some damage onto that bottom turret. Hopefully we'll see Cameron taking out these first few turrets. I mean, if they just apply any type of turret damage with that aggression they were showing last game and getting those kills off, this should definitely be an easy win here for Cameron University. Seeing that again, with Lulu being extremely aggressive top lane, gaining quite a few hits onto that Garen. Garen extremely low. Looks like he will be getting some help from that Syndra. Lulu, though, extremely smart. Trying to run away already early. However, it looks like she will get stunned and airborne there. Garen's still caught on her trail. She is silenced. Unfortunately, she will get killed by that Garen, but it was still smart of her to move there early. Early. It was just unfortunate that they did get that help from jungle and it was a 3v1. Nothing much that Lulu could have done there. But it looks like Cameron University are going to find another kill onto that Garen. Looks like Roger State will be focusing on getting that dragon, or Cameron University will just be getting some damage onto that jungle monster. However, unfortunately, it looks like Seraphine and Kaisa will be pushing down mid lane and pressuring Annie and Pantheon again back to that tower. However, they have been doing a great job at fighting back. I mean, they did get clear that first time, but now they've learned from it. Looks like we will get that Rift Herald. Hopefully now Cameron will have an easier time pushing this top turret with that Rift Herald. Garen doing his best to fight back. Looks like he will get stunned. Echo and Lulu hot on his trail. Garen is extremely low. Echo doing a great job at making sure not to get killed by that turret. Looks like Annie will be taking out Garen. Bottom lane a fight breaking out as well with unfortunately Roger State University getting those kills off onto Pantheon and Annie. Hopefully 
Cameron can come back before Kaisa, Hecarim, and Seraphine get this bottom turret, which they definitely will push on here. Looks like they will gain a significant amount of damage onto that turret. They need to watch out top as well. I mean, there's two of them up there right now, so hopefully Cameron University can gain some ground top lane. Annie and Pantheon will come back here to defend that turret bottom. Looks like Roger State have also switched out Garen and Syndra, with Garen taking mid lane and Syndra taking top. Definitely because he was having some hard times with Lulu, decided to swap out that Garen for that Syndra, who is also long range. Pantheon and Annie, however, will be getting some turret damage onto that bottom turret. Hopefully, Cameron University will take out that turret first. Looks like they've gotten quite significant damage onto it already. Kaisa and Seraphine just waiting for Pantheon and Annie to push up here. But they know better, they're gonna play passively and wait till those minions respawn. Lulu again gaining some damage onto that Garen. Looks like Garen decided to come back top lane, but he's still having a very hard time going against that Lulu. Looks like he will get a silence off on her, but it doesn't really stop Lulu and she will be getting some more free damage onto that Garen. Looks like Lulu will still be pushing Garen all the way back to his turret, which is also extremely low up top. I mean, this first turret kill could go to Cameron University. They've been doing a really great job at applying pressure to those turrets. Looks like, however, middle lane Syndra will be pushing up onto that Lucian. Looks like she will get some help from that Hecarim coming in from the back. Lucian doing his best to get away. He will get airborne. He did get stunned there as well. It looks like Hecarim will get shot by that turret. Hopefully he'll go down, and it looks like they will trade. Looks like Lulu and Echo will be going in onto that lone Syndra, and they will be finding that kill. Turret planning's gonna fall here soon, but hopefully with those two kills, it'll give Cameron University to get a jump on those enemy turrets. Looks like Echo unfortunately will get caught out with your bottom lane by Kaisa and Seraphine and will get rooted, but I think he's gonna escape here. Looks like turret plating has finally fallen here with Lulu and Garen still battling it out top lane. Looks like Kaisa and Seraphine though didn't find those kills they were looking for onto that Echo and Echo did manage to get away and go back into that jungle for Cameron. Garen's still trying to figure out if he does really want to fight that Lulu and it looks like that answer is no. As Kaisa and Hecarim will find out that Echo again and charm them. Looks like Echo is doing their best to kind of run away there while top lane looks like Garen will be fighting a 2v1 and they will be getting that kill off onto that Garen and it looks like Cameron University will be getting a double kill with Annie finding a kill as well. Unfortunately, uh, Roger State University won't be finding any kills there. But it looks like Hecarim going down as well. Three down right now for Roger State University and that will help put Cameron in the lead for kills 7-10 to 10, as well as goal production. 23.4k and 26.1k there for Cameron University. Looks like Pantheon, Annie, and Lucian will find out that Cindera, but it looks like for now she's gonna get away. Looks like Cameron University will get that first turret down onto Roger State, and they will be going for that dragon as well. Showing a big change from that last game, making sure to go for those turrets. Now with that Cloud Drake slain, it looks like Cameron University will gain an advantage here. Unfortunately, it looks like Syndra will be taking down Lucian mid lane. 
Still not enough though to make it even between both teams with Roger State University still behind two kills. Looks like Kaisa though will be pushing up all the way bottom lane onto Pantheon. With his Seraphine there as well, Pantheon is doing his best to kind of hold his ground while Echo will be coming in there from jungle to help him out. Seraphine and Kaisa do see it and do their best to kind of back up there. They don't want to get caught out. Lulu unfortunately will get caught out and silenced, but Garen doesn't want to get too close to that turret. He knows how deadly that can be. Looks like a huge stun will be placed onto Roger State and it looks like they will find a trade there. Kaisa doing his best to fight back, but unfortunately Echo will take him down. Looks like Roger State will go down again. Bottom lane is absolutely cleared out once more. Kaisa and Seraphine being taken down. Looks like unfortunately though, Garen will get some help from Hecarim again coming out from Jungle to kill that Lulu. Lulu has been doing an amazing job fighting back against that Garen, but really when it does come down to a 2v1 and Hecarim comes in from that jungle, there's not much he can do. It looks like they will trade turrets as well with Roger State finally gaining that first turret onto Cameron University with Cameron already taking two. Roger State still behind in kills as well by two. It looks like turrets will be falling left and right with Roger State and Cameron University both destroying a turret. However, it looks like Pantheon and Annie decided to switch from bottom lane to top lane here. I mean, it is mid game. They can start choosing sort of where they want to go here, especially when the enemy team gets caught out like this. It's a great job to go top lane and it looks like they're going to find that kill they were looking for onto Garen. It looks like Hecarim though won't escape with Lucian. Caught on his trail will come out of that jungle to finish him off. Syndra did her best to help out her Hecarim there, but it looks like Lucian will still finish off that kill. Looks like Syndra walking to a 1v3 with Pantheon coming in from the back. Looks like Syndra is one shot, and unfortunately she will get a double kill there before she goes down. Great job there from Syndra. Unfortunately, they can't kill her fast enough. Echo will come in to help his Pantheon though, and they will get that Seraphine. Right now, Cameron University still in the lead. Three down there for Roger State with Cameron University only down two. Both teams slowly responding as well and getting back into those lanes. Looks like both teams are sort of looking for each other with Annie and Pantheon just camping in jungle, waiting for someone to walk by. Looks like Garen will catch out Lulu again. Kaisa also there to help him Seraphine to cut her off. Unfortunately, Lulu just keeps getting caught out by these hordes of enemies. Not much he can really do against a 3v1. And it looks like Roger State will be gaining another kill onto Cameron. However, still Cameron in the lead. 16 to 13. Roger State behind three kills there. 3k as well and gold production. Roger State at 33 with Cameron University at 36. Looks like Roger State University is going to get closer and closer to where Cameron wants them with Pantheon and Annie still hiding in the shadows. Looks like Seraphine will find them first with Annie hot on their trail. It is a 3v3 right now. I mean, they definitely called it out to so Roger State University. They're going to do their best to kind of help their allies down here. Well, it looks like Lulu will be the only one not in the fight there for Cameron right now. It is a 4v3 until Kaisa comes in to help in this fight. Looks like both teams really want to get this drink. The Seraphine absolutely getting obliterated there by Echo. Syndra doing her best to fight back. Echo though will get some help from that Lucian and push Syndra back. That will give Cameron University that infernal drake. 
great job on Cameron University in making sure that Roger State didn't get any more Drake kills than they needed to. They were allowed to get that first one, but now with these last two, Cameron University has been hot on it and getting every single one of them. It looks like Cameron looking to initiate a fight there with Roger State, doing their best to kind of back out. It looks like they don't really want to fight it there in the jungle, and they will push main instead. Looks like instead Roger State will be deciding to sort of flank there with their Garen, with most of them pushing mid lane. Looks like Echo will be going in for that flank as well with that Lulu. They will get that first stun up onto Kaisa. They are doing their best to take it out. Echo is extremely low. Looks like Lucian will find that first kill, however. Looks like he will find a double kill onto Hecarim as well. Unfortunately, Garen will trade for that Lucian. Unfortunately as well in that fight, looks like Roger State University will take another turret there with Echo taking down Garen. Looks like Echo will do her best to run away though, but with Cinder hot on her trail, looks like unfortunately they will go down. Looks like now Annie and Lulu doing their best to get out of that situation. They are both around half health, so they don't really want to risk going down there. Looks like Cameron is still in the lead though with kills and have more people up right now with Roger State having three people respond and Cameron University only had two. Looks like Cameron though might have a few longer spawns there but that's alright they should still be able to come back. However it looks like Cinder will unfortunately get some damage onto that mid lane turret putting Roger State now in the lead for turret kills. Still behind though on gold production as well, only at 39k while Cameron University is at 41. Cameron still doing their best to push the mid lane, even though they've been having quite some trouble with it. Hopefully they can win this next team fight, that should help them get rid of quite a lot of these mid lane turrets. Looks like both teams just waiting for the other one to appear right now as they're being extremely defensive. Looks like Echo will be going in for that kill first with Lulu. Right behind him, they're getting a nice step and airborne onto that Kai'Sa, but Echo's gonna have to be extremely careful because Seraphine is there to help that Kai'Sa. They're gonna get a nice teleport out as well, and it looks like Annie will be joining the fight to help. Unfortunately, they do get stunned there, and Hecarim's gonna make Echo flee. Looks like Pantheon will come in though. This will be a 4v2, hopefully. Roger State University doing their best to come back there to help their teammates. Looks like they will catch out Garen. Unfortunately, they will find that kill onto Lulu with Garen going in onto that Echo with a Hecarim not far behind her. Echo's still doing their best to fight back even though the odds are against them. Looks like they will meet their team though. They are doing their best to put Hecarim and Garen right into the middle of them. Cameron University did a really great job at disengaging from that fight. They did lose Lulu, but that's not too much. I mean, losing one person in that fight is not too much of a trade-off that they need to worry about. Looks like Lulu's respawned as well. They just need to wait a few more seconds before they get extremely aggressive. I'm pretty sure they want to have a full team for most of these team fights here, and Lulu should be back any second. Looks like Lulu instead will be focusing onto that top lane. As it looks like her teammates will be going back into spawn to purchase some more items and get ready for this team fight. Looks like that Infernal Drake will be spawning soon as well. And it looks like Roger State University are gonna go for it, but Cameron University wants to make sure that they don't get it. Looks like Roger State are gonna do their best to group up here with Pantheon scouting out that area first for Cameron. 
and it looks like both teams are going to be grouping up. Looks like Darren will be trying to initiate the fight for Roger State University first, but unfortunately puts himself in a dire situation and will go down first. Echo again, as usual, initiating that fight for his team, giving them some space, pushing that Hecarim back and letting them push in. Looks like Annie will find that first kill onto Seraphine, and it looks like that's just going to get Cameron University that full team wipe onto Roger State University and will give them that infernal break as well. This should definitely help him push up and get this win. Roger State still has about 20 seconds to 30 seconds to respawn, so this should give Cameron some time to kind of push up and get some damage onto that turret. Looks like, however, they first will be going for that Baron of Thor. I mean, they have nobody stopping them, so mine as well. They have really all the time they need now to kind of gear up for this next fight. And if they can push up while Roger State is still sort of coming back from spawn and straggling, looks like Lulu already has that idea. They should be able to hold them back. Lulu already doing her best to help out her team by getting some damage onto that mid lane turret to give her, her team an easier time pushing up here for this last fight. And it looks like they will be pushing down mid lane. Cameron all going back to spawn, getting some of those last few items, hopefully for this last fight. I mean, they've been just setting themselves up. It's been pretty obvious here. They've been wanting to make it as painful, but as quick as possible. Cameron really playing it smart by setting up for these team wipes. They did it before that first one, and it looks like they're going to do it again. Looks like Cameron will be pushing down right hand side jungle as it looks like Roger State really won't be expecting it. Their Garen is still going top left. He needs to start coming back if he wants to make sure that Cameron doesn't take over too much space. If Garen doesn't come back here, Roger State University could be looking at a 5v4. And it looks like that's exactly what's going to happen. Looks like Garen though will be TPing back. I think he knows what's going to happen here. Hecarim, Cinder, and Seraphine doing their best to hold the front line. Looks like Lulu, though, will be meeting Garen top lane. Garen's still trying to figure out if he wants to channel back to that spawn. And it looks like he'll do that just that. Unfortunately, that will leave Cameron behind one player as Lulu is still coming back down from jungle. Looks like Cameron University is slowly making their way into that front line. Looks like Garen is doing his best to initiate first there for his team, but he will get silenced and shut down there by Annie. Nice counter attack, but unfortunately, Annie will get traded as well with Echo finding a kill onto that Syndra. This will get Cameron University the space we were looking for, but it looks like Lucian finishing off Seraphine, but they will trade Seraphine also taking down that Lucian. Looks like a nice polymorph there from Lulu as well. And it looks like Pantheon will find that kill onto Hecarim. They will be able to get that turret and start working on those inhibitors. They did get another complete team wipe onto Roger State University, and this should be Cameron's. Looks like there's no way Roger State can come back to that, but three of Cameron's still in their spawn. Looks like they're going to take out this last turret and start working on this Nexus, and it looks like this game is going to go to Cameron University. An amazing comeback from that last game. It looks like they figured out where they went wrong and were able to get this game. One more for Cameron, and they will be winning this final.